Hello and welcome to episode 23 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll be covering how to set visibility, as well as updating episode 13's teleportation script. Firstly, there's three functions we can use to set visibility. The first two work for an entire fighter at a time, while the last one can be used to toggle a specific mesh on or off. Actually, before we begin, what's a mesh? Well, to explain this, I'm going to need Arc Explorer and Studio SB. Arc Explorer was covered in episode 6, but a link to download Studio SB will be available in item 2 of the description. Firstly, I'm going to go download Link's model from Arc Explorer. I'm going to go to Fighter, Link, Model, Body, and then I'm going to right click on the COO folder and extract the entire thing. Gonna go into Studio SB, File, Open Folder, and I'm just gonna open my entire export folder. And now if we open the sidebar on the left, the export folder is there. We're now going to navigate to the folder that we exported, so all the way to COO, we're going to open it. And to open the model, I'm going to click on model.numdlb. And here's Link's model. I'm going to open the tab on the right, and just start toggling all these. See, oh, uh, this one says hair, this is a body, this is more body stuff. So yeah, all of these are Link's meshes. They're essentially the smaller pieces of a model that a bigger model is comprised of. Either way, we're going to get back to this a little bit later, so I'm going to keep this open. I've got a script here to demonstrate two of the three ways to set visibility. The two ways to toggle visibility for an entire fighter are visibility module set whole and model module set visibility. They both take a BOMA and then either false for invisible or true for visible. The one I prefer to use is visibility module set whole as it's a little bit more reliable. Either way, what that script did was made it so that if Link's holding down 20 frames into up taunt, he'll become invisible. We can still, you know, move around, attack, do all the things we can do while visible, it's just we can't be seen. And if we hold up 20 frames into up taunt, we'll be able to be seen again. We can also do this with specific meshes. We can use model module set mesh visibility. So this script also includes holding right to hide Link's shield and sword, and left to make them visible again. Now pretend I haven't already figured out the name of the sword and shield. I'm going to go back into Studio SB, and start toggling stuff until I see this, the sword and shield disappear. Now I know that Link's sword is called Ken, and Link's shield is called Tate. So with the script, Link Ken is Link's sword, Link Tate is the shield, Ken B is the sword on Link's back, and Tate B is the shield on Link's back. Also, you'll see that these had Viz O object shape. You'll always want to omit that. In Smash Now, holding right caused it all to disappear. You can see we're swinging a completely invisible sword. And holding left causes it all to reappear. Now, I promised I'd have an updated teleportation script, and here it is. I would recommend you watch episode 13 first to know what's going on here with all the entry ID stuff and the variables up here. But what have I changed? Well, a side taunt facing left now saves the position, and side taunt facing right teleports link there. So just be wary of that. Frame 12, we use Macross Effect to summon a smoke-like effect. And we use this new function called Last Effect Set Rate to make the effect run two times faster. Frame 24, we make Link invisible and also intangible, so he won't be able to be hit. Then frame 39, we move Link to a new position. And on frame 40, we summon the same effect and make it go two times faster. We make Link visible again, and make him able to be hit. One last thing, however, before I showcase this. Macross effect is a new function, 
and it works a bit differently from Macross Effect Follow, which is why I'm using it here instead. Macross Effect Follow works great. It causes the effect summon to follow the bone that it's attached to. On the other hand, Macross Effect causes an effect to stay in the same position in which it was defined. Usually using Effect Follow doesn't cause any issues, but when we make Link invisible, because the effect is tied to the top bone, the effect also goes away. This can be relieved with effect because of the nature of it not being tied to a specific bone. One thing though is that effect follow only has these arguments, while effect requires six extra zeros in between the size and the boolean. Now if we face left and do side taunt, we'll save Link's position. And doing it while facing right, we'll get some nice visual effects instead of an instant teleport. Of course, the code for this episode will be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!